This is how an organized scam is done. First, you test the waters to see if any people buy into your pitch. That first campaign doesn't have to be anything memorable. It just has to end because, well, you tested the waters and found out whether or not people would buy into what you had to sell. Julian Bouchore found that out back around 2014. Well, now that the test is done, it's time to scam your brains out, as Julian Bouchore and any associates that he had discovered. Now, I'd like to show you some of the videos that they used to bilk money out of backers on Indiegogo. The problem is, all of those videos have now been mysteriously scrubbed from the internet. This means that we're having to content ourselves with the dregs that he left on Indiegogo and put out here. One of the things that really sold an awful lot of people on this Swiss Care teeth whitening system was the fact that they used an awful lot of colorful photographs, all of which would turn out to be nothing more than stock photos. Those bright colors tended to overwhelm the people that saw them and really engage their emotions. For those that would not be distracted entirely by bright flashy colors, they came up with a plausible sounding backstory of this technological marvel that they were trying to crowdfund. Despite the fact that they had updates and even claimed to have shipped some items, there were people who were not necessarily bamboozled, and some were even beginning to research the backstory, leading to the next Julian Bashor scam. Smart Tracker and Smart Tracker 2 The Tag Team Endgame Scams of Julian Bashor. Once again, after they had gotten their money and scammed away into the darkness, they'd scrubbed any videos that they had on Indiegogo or onto YouTube. However, what we're left with is the detritus, the colorful images, the incredible backstory of a product that did not exist. This is the things that were used to get you so excited that you would probably give them your money. You'll also notice that they had some accomplices, though they probably didn't know it at the time, in terms of online media that touted the virtues and the wonders once again of a product that they themselves had never seen but were trying to tell you would be the next big thing. All of that lovingly documented on the Indiegogo site. Yes, everyone that ever invested in crowdfunding with any project that Julian Bashur was involved with lost all of their money and they're never going to see a penny of it again. Chances are he's part of an ongoing criminal enterprise and with luck, someday, the Swiss police will catch up with him. Meanwhile, his place is assured in crowdfunding hell.